Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Spyro Glitcher here. I'm just going to show you guys how to make a basic trainer or hack, whatever you want to call it, for pretty much any Flash game you can find on the internet. First off, you're going to need something called Microsoft Visual Basic. I use 2010 Express Edition. It doesn't really matter as long as you have Visual Basic. And uh, I use Firefox. I'm not pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it works with any browser, but if it doesn't, just download Firefox. It takes five seconds. So first off, we're gonna go down. Sorry for caps lock. We're gonna go to any Flash game website and choose one. Let's do this one. Um, you're gonna click on Tools and go to Page Info. This will bring up all the information you need to know about the page. Click on Media, and you're gonna see where it says Type. You're gonna look for the one that says Embed. There it is, right there. So we're going to copy this. This is where the actual game comes from. Just make sure you copy that. And you're going to save it as well. So we'll just call this... Flash Hack. And there it is. So we have this right here. Oh my god, I need to turn this music annoying, uh, annoying music off. So, now you're also going to need something called, well, it doesn't matter which one you use, you just need an SWF decompiler, I use SoThink. That does cost money, but never said you had to get it legally. So, let me just get this freaking music off. God dang, it's annoying. Alright, so once you're here, you're going to see the name of your Flash game that you just downloaded. I name I'm Flash Hack, so it's called flashhack.swf obviously and we're gonna click this little plus right here and it'll bring up all the folders you're gonna need the actions folder unfortunately there is a lot of flash games that are encrypted and you can't see these folders and you won't be able to deal with those but I would just use this same game as me since we're trying to teach you something here click on main movie and this will bring up all the stuff in the game all the coding now this is the kind of stuff you're looking for variables see variable HP so that's your health variable cash that's how much cash you have so this game has it all laid out nice and neat for us to hack already so we're gonna go down here and open up Microsoft Visual Basic I don't know why that's popping up. Oh, uh, sorry. We can start a new project. <coughs> We're just going to name this Flash Hack. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And this here is the window that you'll actually be seeing. So, make that whatever size you want. We'll make it decently small since it's just testing right now. Oops. Sorry. Right here it says text. You can change that to Fire Glitchers Training Trainer Tutorial. And there it is, right there. So, <coughs> first thing we have to do is click on Toolbox, and you're gonna right click anywhere in the box and click Choose Items. Wait, that load it takes takes a minute for it to load sometimes especially if you haven't opened it in a while and right here we're going to click on COM components and that takes another second to load and we're going to look for shockwave flash object and make sure that that has a checkbox on it and click OK and once it has a checkbox you're going to come up here and find the shockwave flash object select it and you can resize it to however you want. The shockwave flash object is what you actually see where the game actually is displayed. So all this really white part right here is where the game itself is going to be shown. So now we can double click that. And you know what, first of all, see the name right here, AX Shockwave Flash 1. We're just going to delete that and call it game with a capital G. 
So now that you've named a game, you can go in here and type game dot movie equals and then quote that link that we copied earlier and then another quote. So if we start to debug it right now, it should there you go. It's power glitcher trainer tutorial. The game works really good, all that stuff. Nothing your points. <laughs> Walk around, yeah, it works. So now that it, you're sure that it works, you can actually start the hacks itself. So well, let me close these. Sorry, just bothers me when everything's open like that. <coughs> now comes, now comes the actual hacking part. So we're gonna click on our toolbox, and we're gonna give a button. Button, there it is. Drag a button down here wherever you want it. And let's say we want to do. We want to change our cache. So the variable name is cache. You can copy that. Change the button name from whatever you want to. You know, just whatever. Max cache. Oh, it's too many letters. Alright. Cache. How about that? Oh, sorry, that's the actual name itself. Sorry, I'm retarded. Um, blah, blah, blah. Text is what you want to change. Now it says max cache. <coughs> so we can double click this, and where it puts this insertion point is exactly where you need it. So you're going to type in call game oops sorry dot set variable there it is right there and we don't need these yet so now we're just going to put a quote right there underscore root the reason we put underscore root is because this code is in the root of the game it's hard to explain but just trust me it works and now we're going to put underscore root dot cache because that was the variable name and we're going to end it with another quote put a comma and how much you want so let's say we want fifty thousand dollars and then you're going to put another one of those things can't remember what they're called who cares and then you're going to try and debug it see if it works do all this stuff <laughs> Alright, so I have a hundred dollars right now. I click max cash. Boom, it works. So you can pretty much do this with any of the variables you want, but you can also set it so the person using the trainer itself can change it. So let's do that now. Let's just start Uber. Now we're gonna put a button. and we need something called a text box put the text box right next to it now this text box is assigned a name by default and we'll just leave it at default and it's called text box one so we go in here and we type in call game dot set variable and we're going to put a quote underscore root dot cash quote and then instead of having it set the cash to a number we can have it go to text box whoops one dot text and I do recommend having a little bit of experience with visual basic before you start doing this but it doesn't matter now I can change it to that and click the button. You have all that cash. So just play around a little bit and you'll figure your stuff out. It's a lot of fun actually. It's just hard to find a game that's not encrypted once you decompile it. But thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments box or message me on YouTube.